Hello, hello everyone, welcome to Cure Design. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial I show you the basics um, for the keyframe patch. So you can create uh, this animation right here with the squashing face. So So that the face is pumping with the cookie or something like that and it's not this smooth animation from zero to one. So you can really create a very interesting and very um, modifier version of the animation you want to, um, to make. And I show you the basics too. Um, um, in this example, how you uh, can add the keyframe for the color values and also for the position as example. So let's start. Okay, let's start. And we start with uh, the um, keyframe actions or properties for switching uh, the material color. So create a face mesh or I create a face mesh in this case add the material to it and we go to uh, to the material and just go to view patch editor of course at first and we add this texture right here to it create the keyframe and connect these both no not connect these uh, this is not possible because what you need is to make sure that you pack the keyframes and we just need two values we need one vector for the color and the other one is our alpha channel um, if you click right here on these uh, error sign come to the keyframe options or the more detailed options and you see this x y z properties right here and uh, these are the position values or the um, values in the space or I don't know how to explain it sorry for my English sometimes but <laughs> I think you get it and also you see this um, colors right here uh, x is red uh, y is yeah y is uh, green and that is blue so these are the typical um, values for, for the RGB space so just go back right here and we just need the values from this space and this one is our alpha channel or the opacity and we want to set the opacity in this case to one so this is uh, the full 100% of opacity now it changed to black because we go back you have uh, it starts with zero and you have the um, one value and the negative one value and when I go up right here just go right here to this you can add the keyframes to another option so this is more green yellow touch the this down below and you see now it changed from black to green for example this right here this um, is the frame so 60 frames are one second so and we want to create an animation by I don't know two seconds maybe so just go crazy with that um, go to this place or you can also add this duration assist right right here and go to go to add a keyframe in this case for red because I selected this one and put it maybe down below at this one too and also this it goes from black to green to a blue filter for example you can just pre-render it just go on a play and then you see how it works. So this is an okay example, I think. And now uh, this is uh, not working right now. We can uh, add an animation or animation loop to it. Animation loop in this case. And we want to mirror this because we want to go um, from black to green to um, 
blue and from blue to green to black and so on. Go right here and now you see how it works. So the duration, if it's way too fast, you can of course set it to, for example, to 10 so it's not so fast. And you see the animation progress right here and that it's really attached to the pack. Pack this whole information and then send it right here. Okay, this is nice. And now I want to show you the basics. Position, for example, or rotation. So that how you can add this value. Just click right here or deselect. Just don't need this. Maybe add this one and go to the plane and add the material of the plane to this one right here. So, and now it's working with this again, also quite okay. Just wanna see myself, hello. <laughs> and this is way easier. So we use this animation, loop animation. For this example, go to keyframe again and we add, create a new keyframe. And we add in this case, uh, start with a position, for example. When we add this together, it's a, uh, it gets the information from our first keyframe and by default it's zero, so uh, it's ended up here right now. Okay, let's start here and now I just create this animation. You can also go right here. So 0 0.5, for example, 0 0.5, go to add enter to it. So you make sure it, oh, it's way too wide. <laughs> Maybe this one, no. 0 0.5. 15 maybe, mm. 0 0.1 is a fine, okay, in this case. 0 0.1, make sure if you uh, add the values right here, make sure you add enter to create the values. And the that we just add two maybe, uh, minus two, so. It's going back. It's way, maybe not the best example, but I hope you get the idea. And go to the other side. So minus one, negative one, and right here. Mm. And just want to go freestyle again. Boop. Oh, sorry. Okay, you can't go um, command Z, it doesn't work. Okay, but at this one right here, maybe in the middle, and go to the this value. Yep. And this one. Okay. And of course you can, don't need to uh, create the keyframes in the same place for every single vector, whatever. You can of course go crazy with this again. And let's make it a little bit more interesting. This don't make sense, but but of course you can 
I hope you get this idea right now. And now I just want to create um, from an old project uh, um, an example how you can use uh, this keyframe also for other components. I create this tutorial right here. I want to switch from the transition animation I created to the keyframe animation. Okay, and this is the regular or uh, uh, the old tutorial. Ah. And I want uh, this animation right here that is more like squash goes from zero to one linear with the transition, but I want this uh, like a pounding. Uh, I want to switch this uh, transition to um, the keyframe. Keyframe. Right here. And for this keyframe, I just need one value. So I go to unpack and oops <laughs> and uh, go to the x value because we just need one value from zero to one. So and now we want to change this keyframe right here. Oh sorry. I have some troubles with the zoom in um, and again the keyframes are all linear, so you, there is no um, possibility right now to create um, some effects like easy in and easy out or something like that. So it's pretty linear. So we have to trick a little bit to so, uh, create more like a frame by frame animation if you want to create it a little bit smoother. But uh, if you know, um, for example, After Effects, uh, this is the easiest version to create keyframes or it's more like flash maybe as do do some of you know flash anymore <laughs> okay and again just this x value and we have the value from zero to one so i just want to create from um, second to second um, steps from uh, 1.1 to 1.2 1.3 and then i go a little bit faster to the um, zeros from zero to one so I, I just show it so this again is like one second and I create right here a new keyframe this keyframe is also zero and I want to make sure that this one is 0 0.1 for example okay just zoom a little bit oops out and this is pretty helpful. So you see also every time this uh, again, 60 frames are one second and this is um, the two second, just uh, this one right here, another keyframe. We need the information from this one and go up here with by two. Again, drag this a little bit farther and keyframe and I think three uh, let's go to four so it's a little bit in case it goes a little bit up for let's say six or seven maybe and then this one is our one. Again, enter. So it's maybe look nice. It's more like <laughs> hello. It's more like it goes uh, faster, higher at the end. Whatever. So just test the animation if you are fine with that. So boop, 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 boop for example. All right. Now, um, just restart. Sometimes it doesn't work quite well. So let's try it. And that's it. So but um, I have sometimes tr uh, trouble so it doesn't work very well could be a bug or a problem with the um, I don't know or I 
created um, create a mistake that maybe is in the cache or whatever i don't know so what i just do is uh, for example restart close the whole project and then open it again and uh, then it uh, works for example and that is not well maybe not the delete maybe direct to it And maybe that's not, could be okay with the um, duration. In this case, um, you, it's, pu it's pumping back again uh, because I produce a reverse when I add this, when the switch is off. If you want to know how um, exactly I create this uh, whole function, please watch this video right here. But this is, um, I think, I really love the um, keyframe animation, to be honest. Um, you can't create much right now, but I think it will be um, in two, two or three months. It's uh, like in After Effects or something like that. I hope you enjoyed this process and this tutorial, this basic tutorial. Um, yeah, uh, please let me know any ideas for new tutorials or better examples. Please let me know what you create with keyframes. Um, enjoy the process. See you next time. Bye bye.